Hey there everyone, Hitesh here, back again with another video. In this video, I want to talk about something specific to the technical part and especially the coding part, that is MVC, Model View Controller. And I can understand, I can understand your feeling that you might have uh, watched uh, thousands of video, uh, might have read a lot of books about the design pattern and still you are confused about what is MVC or Model View Controller. Now, I have also seen those videos and I just cannot digest the thing that uh, why the people are just making a presentation and that whole circle thing and just goes like that and puts out some of the definition and nobody understands that. Now what is the point of putting a, a definition from the book just in front of the people and people don't get the concept in itself. So in this video I'll try my best to make sure that you understand the concept of model view controller as easily as it is possible. Now before we move ahead and talk about what actually is model view controller, let me, uh, let me walk you through that what uh, basically the concept is. Now this is not a new concept first of all and it is a thing that you see in your daily life as well. I'll prove that in an example just in a moment. And also this is not specific to one programming language. It is a way of how you organize your code. It is not like a specific thing for Ruby or PHP or for Java or for Swift. It's just a way of how you organize your code. And trust me, you also see this kind of pattern every single day in your life. And I can do a little bit better job in explaining what model view controller is. So let's try that. So yes, you have seen model view controller probably hundreds of time in your day to day life. Now, let me try to explain what the model view controller is and where you see in your daily life. So let's just see that this is you. Now you go to a restaurant and let's just assume this white entire animation kind of thing is a restaurant and you move on to a restaurant. Now what you do at a restaurant, you don't just go to the kitchen and make a food by yourself. You can do that at your home. So what you wait, you just go there and you wait for a waiter to come on. Now waiter comes to you and you just order the food to the waiter. Now waiter is not aware who you are or what you want to have. He just gets that from you. Now whenever you tell the waiter that yes I want this, the waiter just gets the order. And now waiter moves to the kitchen. Now in the kitchen, waiter is not going to prepare your food. The food is prepared by the cook. So let's bring up the cook. Now waiter will tell that the cook, hey, this, this is a guy out there and he wants this kind of food. And now cook is the guy who is going to prepare the food for you. But cook cannot prepare the food magically. He needs some uh, ingredients to cook the food. He'll open up the fridge and will put out some things. Let's just say you order an omelet. So he'll get the egg, sugar and whatever it needs. So let's bring our fridge as well. So now the fridge is there and cook will cook the food. Now cook will finally hand over the food to the waiter and probably the cook might hand over a couple of other foods as well like maybe uh, a glass of soda or maybe my favorite iced tea or a uh, omelette that you have ordered. Now it's the job of the waiter to move those food outside the kitchen. Now waiter is actually aware that what kind of food need to be served to you and how it should be served. So waiter comes back to you and order and your order is now served. So you might be wondering hey what this story is all about and probably you might haven't guessed that but this is all of your model view controller. Let me show you how that works on. So this you guy is actually a view. This waiter guy is actually the controller. And yes you guessed that right this cook guy is model in itself. And in case you haven't guessed that yes this fridge guy is actually the data. So how about that? So this is a cool example and this is kind of a thing you see every day. You have been going to a restaurant every day and they are following a model view controller objective throughout the year. So this is basically your model view controller. 
Now, I can understand you have gone through with that restaurant example pretty easily and nicely. Now you want to understand how this is applied in the code. Now, first of all, a lot of people believe that model view controller is a thing uh, for only .NET or maybe only for Ruby or maybe only for PHP, but it's not. It's a design pattern. It's the way how you arrange your code and it's gonna be possible in everywhere. You might want to write an application in PHP, Swift, Java, .NET, Ruby, Python. You can just arrange your code like that. Now, the whole advantage of this approach is you can write dumb code. And the more the code is going to be dumb, it's going to be more beneficial. What I mean by that? Now, all I'm trying to say is we are trying to reduce the dependency of each code and uh, this file and this file from each other. We want uh, that if some data is being passed on this file, it just it just process this data it shouldn't be worried about from where this data is coming up from or uh, there shouldn't be any dependencies between these codes it just needs the data fetch it the data and that's it in our example we can see that our cook is not actually worried about who is ordering the food is it a male or female is it a kid or maybe a grandpa he doesn't really care he just gets the order and cooks the food and that is actually a dumb way of uh, separating the people each other now, this is a basic example and you will see this kind of thing quite a lot in uh, my boot camps where I teach iOS or Android or wherever I does that. I always recommend to use the model view controller approach. But let me give you also an example that this kind of approach, although is good in most places, but in some places it can be opposite of that. Like for example, if there is a store which just sells the popsicles or ice creams, it would be really bad approach if we use model view controller there because there is just one job to do. Just bring up the ice cream from the fridge and serve it. That's it. If you, use, if you will use a model view controller approach there, it would be overuse and overkill of the resources. So at some point of the time, model view controller is not a good approach. But in most of the cases where application is pretty humongous, pretty big, then it's a good idea to use a model view controller approach. Now, although we are not going into the in-depth of uh, what is model, what is view, what is controller, because if, if I'll be taking an example specifically for Android, it would be really not a good thing for iOS. If I'll be taking an example directly from iOS, it would not be a good approach for Android. So all I'm doing here is trying to generalize the thing as much as possible. Now, one thing I would like to mention that a lot of people misunderstood the thing that your model is not the data. Again, I repeat, your model is not the data. The data is completely separate. It needs to be cooked up. So that is what the cook is doing in our example. And in the real life example, your data would be something fetching up from an API request or maybe from the Firebase or wherever you are fetching your data. And your model should be the guy who should cook up these data, should process the data. And finally, controller should be responsible from taking that data filtering the request and let's just say you have uh, asked for a result of uh, maybe top 10 wonders of the world and there can be hundreds or hundreds of such uh, wonders of the world now you are looking only for the ancient wonder of the world so it's the job of controller to filter out the data and just produce that onto the view and the job of the view is simply to arrange those data which has been passed on from the controller and that's it so this is a general approach that i tried to show you in this example and i think this is going to be one of the best movie on uh, model view controller approach now i think i think that this video has cleared a lot of, of, of the concept about model view controller just on to summarize again things this is not a specific approach for dotnet or php or java or swift it's a generalized way of writing the code it's a generalized way to separate the data dependencies and again model view control is not always the good approach in most of the cases it is but for the small scale application it can be sometime overcooked thing okay so with this uh, this was the whole idea about the model view controller and in case you are new to the channel make sure you do hit the subscribe we always come up these kinds of awesome content here and talk all about programming tech web apps mobile apps and pretty much everything related to tech so subscribe to the channel and hit the like button in case you like the video also make sure you comment down below what kind of more such topic you would like to see on this channel and i'll surely catch you up in the next video